House of the Rising Sun was the first song I ever learned to play on a guitar. The first time I had a guitar. This was the, the first few chords that I learned. So this is like a full circle for me coming back to this song. And um, we did this cover. We had the idea to do this for a while. But the interesting thing about this song that this song is actually in, in a time signature of 6-8, which is a waltz. And you know, rock music and was doesn't necessarily mix right. You know, it's just kind of like a goofy kind of a, um, a groove to it. You know, so that so basically the challenge was how do how do we make this song work? How do we take away that, that goofy vibe and how do we make it into like a you know a, a, a rock structure? Ah, House of the Rising Sun, the infamous waltz, six eight time signature. I was like, please, can we please change that because it was. Dun, 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 I was like, this is not gonna fly, man. That's, that's not. I was looking actually for a sharp object to jam in my neck. I, I was having no part of that. So, Zoe and I kind of figured out how we can make it more of a rock feel, 4 4 feel, more death punch. And I think it turned out to be pretty cool. I just thought it was so well put together. And especially for that era, the lyrics are just so evil and really twisted. And it really set in with what we were trying to accomplish on this record too. Now, I even changed a couple of words that made it, you know, made it more specific to us and and more specific to the to our lives. We live in Las Vegas, and you know, and the, the, this particular song is about gambling, where and drinking, which is <laughs> which are you know both are very um, Las Vegas -ish issues and and very much you know band members and band issues and you know it, it's, it, this is part of the story part of our lives part of our surrounding you know and and um, changing those couple of words especially made the song that much more specific to us you know but but originally the lyrics already was kind of fitting in my opinion and you know through a couple of guitar solos in there I think I think uh, we made the song our own. It, it, it is heavy. It's as I said, we changed the beat from the waltzy, goofy feel to a 4/4 beat, and that that drove it home to us. So I'm really proud of how it turned out. We kind of added our own twist to it, as you always should, um, by you know kind of putting an Eastwood feel to the intro. It kind of works itself out through it, but um, I'm really proud of it. Whoa! 